Welcome to TradeTheNBA.com. This is John's report. It's for the 4th of October. And, well, the continued assault on higher and higher highs continues to go for the ES or the S&P. And, you know, this is a confounding of so many people, but it's something that we weren't able to see from what we were getting at as far as a reset of our DOC uh, suggesting to us that even at the peaks, we had gotten to an oversold condition. Now, sure, we're starting to put in some positive extremes. These levels are going to get retraced. Fine, we all know that, but until we get the signal that that's about to cross over, in which case you're going to need to see some shorts rising and a continuation of the fallout. We're not seeing that. In fact, we're getting to a key zero point here for the um, red DOC, which is long-term buyers. And usually when they get over that, uh, you get a nice momentum run. And this is so far correlating very nice to our belief way back that we were going to get into this period of the uh, early 90s where there was just this, you know, continual ebb higher despite all these concerns about valuations. NASDAQ's still lagging everybody. I mean, this should have already broken out to new highs, hasn't done so. It's an indication that uh, there's still a lot of room, number one, and number two, there are some areas that are getting a little more scrutiny, which is healthy. Uh, Euro bounce back was also very strong, which also pushes it uh, still outside the range, which definitely... Um, supports the S&P continuing to move higher. So it's from a broader perspective, I mean, you saw the weakness there for the Euro, uh, complete decline in the shakeout, and it's not breaking down beyond uh, um, this previous low support. So that's become a new uh, line there, a little bit higher than the um, 115 range um, that was their traditional point of view. And that was just based on a um, well, not just historical on the chart pattern, but uh, uh, some prominent values based on uh, growth and everything else. TLT, slight rebound here, but this is weak and probably going to continue to be weaker. Um, we still believe that it's going to continue to decay, but I think it's just going to be an erratic. It's just hard for people to come to grips with this idea that um, inflation may have returned after a decade and that it's uh, potential. Um, will be shocking because if it starts, uh, it's going to be um, relentless given the uh, amount of money that exists out there. And some of that will start to get materialized. Uh, oil, you know, uh, big inventory builds, that's not really news to us. Our more concern was looking at uh, oil from a standpoint of um, increased demand overall. And I think that increased demand is going to keep uh, these levels. And as long as that's the case with the ex the idea that there's growing global growth really is going to drive that. Um, the gold retrace, we're getting very close to our expected levels for the pullback here. Um, then we would expect a turnaround. We're completely in the oversold category now. And um, not seeing the uh, orange dip though. We would need to see a new resurgence of that in order to uh, get a buy signal. We didn't have it happen when it came down here the last time. Uh, which indicated that we were going to have a little bit further to go to the downside, and that finally took place. From a 5K standpoint, this has just been a straight, I mean, I should have to shrink this even more to go back to where uh, the ABM broke down and gave the first buy. It was uh, all the way back. And we had talked about it from the 2485 range, and even before that, I mean, just for the most recent run, um, it's just been uh, very solid. Uh, I don't think there's any other way to describe it. We've had plenty of little resets, but the um, pullback ranges, as you can see, mostly to the 50% Fibonacci from the way we read Fibonacci lines, um, to in some cases, then even getting down that low on the last series of uh, short indications going into zero, shakeout, and restarting again. So, um, overbought, not necessarily at uh, this particular point. A little bit of a short weakness signal at this particular spot, but it's resetting already. So we could end up with pretty much down maybe a point or two and ready to start again. Um, you know, up at the 25-25 or you know even 25-30 range. So I know it's confounding to a lot of people, and that's okay. Be confounded all you want. I say ignore where this number is and just go with what the signals tell you, and you'll do much better. Um, you know, this was the same arguments that people gave at 1600. 
you know, 1800 and then 2000, you just have to ignore that and trade what is. And that's the key to everything. Always trade what is and uh, let the uh, prognosticators do their thing and try your best to ignore them. As always, they'll look for me on the Skype chat. I've been having some issues with my trade station here, not uh, cooperating, but uh, hopefully I think I've gotten that all squared away and be able to get more active there with uh, putting up charts and showing um, what we're seeing develop. Trade well, we'll talk again later.